Hello everyone, in this video we will see about Poisson distribution and also we will solve some examples which are often asked in exams. Let H be a discrete random variable. So, H will represent the number of times an event occurs in an interval. The interval could be in space or time. Let us see an example for this. Let H denote number of customers queuing at an ATM in an hour in fixed time interval. So here H is a discrete random variable H which denotes number of customers coming at an ATM in one hour that is number of event and occur an event occurs in an interval. So this is represented by Poisson distribution anything that happens in an interval it also could be number of typing errors in a page and even it could represent suppose this is a road and you are observing vehicles from this point so how many vehicles have passed in an hour so here Poisson model is used for distribution of vehicles if you want to find the probability of that random variable h we represent it as f of h so probability mass function which we saw in the last video so we will represent f of h for Poisson distribution as nu power h e power minus nu divided by h factorial where nu is the parameter which could be which is mean of that event or variance mean and variance are same in Poisson distribution so if in an a if the number of customers arriving at an ATM is about 4 customers per hour like you are observing for 24 hours the mean is 4 then nu will be 4 and h is the number of customers this number which you want to see let us see this example Suppose you are observing the vehicles, you, are observe, you have observed about 120 vehicles per hour. So what is the mean? Let us say you want to calculate for a minute. So 120 vehicles per hour which means 2 vehicles per minute. They are saying that it follows Poisson distribution. So the probability that probability of H vehicles seeing in an hour, I mean seeing in a minute will be nu power h e power minus nu divided by h factorial so here nu is 2 vehicles per minute so 2 power h e power minus 2 divided by h factorial so the probability that you don't observe any vehicles at all will be equal to 2 power 0 which is nothing but point one, 0 0.135 suppose this represent the vehicles this is 0 vehicles are arriving in an arriving in a minute 1 vehicle 2 vehicle 3 vehicle 4 vehicle and so on and this will represent the probability of h that is probability of 1 vehicle arriving and so on so the probability of h equal to 0 we saw as 0.135 now let us solve probability of one vehicle arriving probability of h equal to 1 which is 2 power 1 e power minus 2 divided by 1 factorial this if you solve it will be 0.135 into 2 which is 0.27 so it is represented here as 0.27 now the probability of h equal to 2 will be 2 power 2 e power minus 2 by 2 factorial this this will be again 0 0.135 into 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.27 so again it is 0 0.27 if you solve for 3 it will come around 0 0.18 and it will keep on reducing obviously if the mean is 2 vehicles per minute 
you won't absorb more than 8 or 9 vehicles in a minute coming so the probability of that is very less suppose this is probability mass function suppose you want to represent it as cumulative distribution function yeah so at 0 it is 0.135 at number 1 like probability of h less than or equal to 1 so that is equal to probability of h equal to 0 plus probability of h equal to 1 which is nothing but 0.135 plus 0.27 0.405 next will be 0.8 something and so on in the end it will be 1 so this represent poisson distribution this is cumulative distribution function of a poisson distribution now let us see one example which came in gate exam a traffic office imposes five number of penalties daily on traffic violators they are telling that it is independent that it is it's a discrete random variable and follows poisson distribution probability that there will be less than four penalties in a day so here mean they have given as five five penalties per day so we want to know the probability that there will be less than four penalties in a day probability of h less than less than four less than four penalties be careful to observe it is not less than or equal to so probability of h less than four will be probability of h equal to zero zero number of penalties can also in a happen in a day like that zero probability of h equal to one plus probability of h equal to two plus probability of h equal to three we know the formula probability of h equal to h equal to new power x e power minus new divided by h factorial so if you solve for this it is 5 power 5 new is 5 for h equal to 0 h is 0 e power minus 5 divided by 0 factorial plus now probability of h equal to 1 that is 5 power 1 e power minus 5 divided by 1 factorial and similarly for 2 and 3 5 power 3 e power minus 5 divided by 3 factorial you can take e power minus 5 outside so 5 power 0 is 1 0 factorial is 1 1 plus 5 by 1 plus 25 by 2 plus 5 cube is 125 3 into 2 6 So if you solve this, you will get the answer as 0.265. So the probability that there will be less than four penalties in a day is 0.265. This is the answer. Let us solve one more question which came in gate exam. Let H denote the number of typing mistakes in your textbook. The mean is four mistakes per page. and it also follows poisson distribution so they are asking the probability that at least one mistake per page is there and they are also asking probability that two pages have seven mistake now let us all the first part so they are asking probability of h greater than or equal to 1 which is nothing but 1 minus probability of h equal to 0 whenever you see a probability greater than you can obviously solve it by 1 minus whichever is not here if it was h greater than or equal to 2 it is nothing but 1 minus probability of h equal to 0 minus probability of h equal to 1 now let us solve for this 1 minus probability of h equal to 0 formula is new power x e power minus new divided by h factorial so here 4 power 0 minus 4 e power minus 4 divided by 0 factorial so if you solve this you will get the answer as 0.981 which means here it is 0.981 so there is a chance 98% chance that there will be at least one mistake per page now let us see the probability that two pages have seven mistakes first we have to find out the mean mean they have given as four mistakes per page so here the question is for two pages 
so for two pages the mean will be 4 into 2 which is equal to 8 now they want to know the probability that h is equal to 7 which is nothing but nu power s that is 8 power 7 e power minus 7 divided by 7 factorial if you solve this you will get an answer as 0 0.379 so there is 37.98 percent chance that two pages will have seven mistakes thank you guys for watching the video to continue watch more videos please subscribe to our channel